Let's just put our hands together for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right now. Truly, our God is the master healer, the master deliverer, and the son of our salvation. And tonight, we have so much to be thankful for. We've already seen so much tonight about what God has done through our church, through the anointing water prayer line, through deliverances, through healing. But right now we want to take it a step further. We have so many people in here from our own church who have a testimony to share with you tonight about what God has done for them in this year alone. For this year was truly a year to dream a new dream where breakthrough has come for people who were searching for breakthrough this entire year. Where healing has come for people who have been in pain for such a long time. And today is the day where we are going to give God all the praise and all the glory and all of our thanks. So we just want to share with you a few testimonies tonight of people who want to bless you with what God has done. So first I want to ask Mariana if you could come forward. God has done some amazing things. So Mariana, can you just share with us what God has done for you just this year? Um, um, well, I started out with uh, getting a, receiving a breakthrough and uh, came with a job position. And I started off as being a front office uh, receptionist. And there was a job opportunity that came up. And that job opportunity was an amazing opportunity to grow. And it would also be a financial breakthrough. But the, the opportunity also, you had to have a degree. You had to have certain um, experience. And I had none of that. And so they allowed me to have a first interview. And pretty much the manager told me right in my face that uh, we're not looking for someone like you. Um, you're not qualified whatsoever and I told him like yes I am I will be qualified and you know I just kind of did it with faith and said that I I want this job this is my job and there was two more interviews and they were very difficult and really challenging but as I went to my last interview I took the job um, interview uh, description the job description paper and I took the anointing water and I sprayed on it and I said that even though man says that I am not qualified God you already have qualified me and so I just sprayed with the anointing water and walked into that um, interview believing that God was with me with his favor and even though I wasn't qualified I knew that God qualified me for that promotion and then I got the job uh, a couple of weeks later they called and said that I had the job so praise be to God amen amen Jesus Christ truly qualifies the unqualified and that testimony can speak to your breakthrough today in Jesus name and we want Bryson to come forward and share with us what God has done for you, the amazing breakthrough that you received this year. So at the beginning of this year, you guys, um, actually on New Year's, when I heard Prophet TV Joshua, he was uh, talking about this was a year to dream new dreams. And I, God was actually, beforehand, he was dealing with my heart that I wasn't dreaming big enough. And um, uh, it had to do with my school. And so at the beginning of the year, I decided I was going to go, I was going to start my teaching uh, degree my my bachelor's the only problem is I had no money at all like none <laughs> and so uh, but I, I believe that this was my year to dream new dreams dream big and it was gonna be my year to, to see dreams actualized and so uh, I just took it by faith I took it, it was planted in my heart and I, I believed and I said to God I'm like I believe God that you're gonna pay for every single part of my my degree I'm not gonna pay a single cent of my own money and I, I just I started declaring that I told my parents and they thought I was crazy uh, and I just, but again, I began to pray with the anointing water. And for three months, I was filling out, you know, uh, FAFSA forms uh, to get from money from the state. I got absolutely nothing at all. And, but at the same time, I just didn't let that get to me. I just kept believing, kept praying and spraying. <laughs> and then, and then out of nowhere, the president of the college of CBC, um, he tells my dad, because my dad works at CBC. He's like, hey, uh, have your son come to my office. I want to give him something. And I go to his office and I'm thinking, oh yeah, he's gonna give me some scholarship money, $2,000, that's gonna go great towards what I'm going for. And little did I know when I walked into his office, I, uh, the, the, the talk was only about five minutes long. He said, so I have some money to give you uh, for your scholarship. Uh, just go t uh, talk to my secretary and you can fill it out. And as I was sitting there, she was saying, she's like, wow, you're so lucky. So many people would love to be in your position. And I'm like, oh, I know, I didn't know the, I didn't know the president gave out money. <laughs> and so I just, 
she kept repeating it to me, and I was like, oh, you know, yeah, this is cool. This is definitely cool. And then finally it got weird. I'm like, how much money is he giving me? And she just looked at me. She's like, he's paying for it all. <laughs> the money that was gonna be, that's going to go for my uh, college uh, degree is around $60,000. So just like I had just believed at the beginning of this year that I wasn't going to pay a single cent, Amen. God has come through, and I'm, I'm going to pay a single cent. Amen? Amen, amen. It kind of reminds me of that saying, from rags to riches. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, we still have some more people who want to share with us. So Katrina, where, where are you? There you are. Come, come. This one's recent. This is just a wonderful thing that God has done. And no matter how big or how small, God is able to give it all. So here we go. That's right. This will speak to her testimony today. Um, well, as many of you already know, I was, well, I had a test to take. <laughs> the compass test that I was going to take. Well, it was the math section, and I needed to take it in order to continue on at going to college. And I already took all the other tests and I passed and all. And I was trying to take this test for like already two years. And I kept getting a low score, like in the 30s. It was horrible. And that's not college level. And I kept like taking it, but I, I didn't really. I was just like, oh, I study. Yeah, I'm going to take it again. Whatever. No big deal. But then it got annoying after three tries. So I just last week when I took it, I prayed with anointing water for it, and then I passed, it got like in the 80s, so yeah, praise God. Amen, amen, and like we said before, to actually score 50 points higher your next time is next to impossible, equivalent to like four college classes to get to that point, so truly that's a wonderful miracle, and right now I want to have Christy come forward and share about another wonderful testimony with us of what God has done for her. I am from Colorado and I have all of my family living out there. Um, my mom and my son who I haven't seen in two years. And this year I really wanted to go and visit them for Christmas but I didn't see any way that I could. And one night I had a dream of our prophet TB Joshua saying 11 weeks. And when I woke up I counted on the calendar and I marked the day and I didn't know what was gonna happen. And um, when it got closer to that day, Caleb was having a contest about sending you home for the holidays. And I applied for the contest and I thought I would win, but the days passed by and I wasn't granted anything. Well, the day that I marked on the calendar, Vlad and Lana came up to me and said that God put on their heart to give me a plane ticket to go to Colorado. And I was finally able to go and see my son I haven't seen in two years and my mom. And it was truly just by God's grace that I was able to be there. Exactly 11 weeks, yes, to the day. Amen. Talk about unique. That's such a cool kind of a miracle. And that's the kind of miracles that we are seeing in this place today. And we're still not finished because there's, this is an important time for us, you guys. As we're at the end of the year, we're approaching the, the we're in the 11th hour. This is our time to give glory to God. So I want our miracle magnet, Anna Melnick, to come forward. And I want her to share with us one of her many, many, many testimonies that happened this year, but she's going to share with us just one that was particularly special for her this year. Hi. Um, I got healed here multiple times from different things that were happening in me. Uh, <laughs> different sicknesses. <laughs> um, th there was a part particular month when uh, Rick Garcia was here from Moses Lake. It was during a Wednesday service. Um, during that week on Monday, I woke up with excruciating hip pain in my right, um, where I went to work and I'm a dental assistant and kind of have to sit in an awkward position and assist the dentist. You have to get comfortable around the dentist. And those two days, it was really horrible. And on Wednesday, I came up to work and I talked to my mom. I'm like, mom, we really have to go see my chiropractor somewhere. And she said, in Moses Lake, there's a really good one. I'm like, we really have to go. And she's like, okay, after the service, we'll call my uncle, get the number, and we're just going to go and see the chiropractor. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go get ready for church. 
So I went and got ready for church and I came to the service and Pastor Rick Garcia, after the message, he was saying, I have this prophetic pain in my hip, in the right hip area. During the message, I've been having this sharp pain in my hip and I believe that it's something prophetic towards somebody here. And I thought about it for a minute. I'm like, wait a second, that's me. <laughs> so I came to the front, he prayed for me and ever since then, I have not had that sharp pain in my hip. Praise Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. What a wonderful God we serve. And um, I just want to share my own personal testimony with you guys from this year. Um, I had the privilege to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations this June. And when I was there, um, I actually received an amazing deliverance while I was there from a spirit of snake that actually had confessed that it was the reason behind all of my uh, career setbacks and that its goal and in, in its purpose for me was to stop me to stop me from being able to do anything and um, I came back and I've experienced such a whole new level of freedom a whole new level of joy and just recently on November 18th um, the one thing that has been like a dark cloud over my mom's business um, for the last two years that thing finally came to an end and it is over and it is done and it is finished and we have the victory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Right now, we're just going to uh, take this opportunity to meditate on the goodness of God. We've heard so many testimonies tonight of people from far away who've come for the prayer line, the people right here in our in our own congregation right next to you and that testimony can be you that that new breakthrough that new healing that can be you you just must simply hold on to faith and that faith in Jesus Christ and right now we're going to just take an opportunity to continue on with worship and to thank our God Almighty that he is still moving today he is yesterday today and forever the same and we will believe in that name Jesus Christ hallelujah so let's continue with worship So okay to say thank you, Lord, just for loving me. Many times I do forget every need that you have met. Oh, thank you, Lord. I know you're showing me. You are there. so amazing yeah it changes me come on let's lift our hands in this place sing. here i am with all i have i'll raise my hands to worship you i want to say thank you yes oh thank you lord for everything for who you are you come my heart, I want to say thank you, oh thank you, I could have died in my sin but you saved me, didn't have any hope at all, you gave me peace divine, and strength to carry Jesus, and words cannot explain, even though I 
just let's just lift up those hands right now every every person in here who has a breath in your lungs right now just get, give God thanks for everything God has done for every moment of his attention through every moment of his grace hallelujah 